Go! Alright, um, so, last time, on the Jealous Twilight, uh, realizing the danger of staying in the streets, our party left to find the Sky Twin Basilica, where Alam said they might, they might find sanctuary. After a brief attempted bonnet theft, Spark, a day apprentice, greeted them at the doors and requested to know why they had come. A moment's hesitation before the party was allowed entry. Dicky Mobile and all. They spoke briefly with Perigi, the die priest turtle, then remembered Cyril tied up in the back of the wagon. They asked to be excused to a soundproof room, a completely normal and casual question, and did their best to reason with Cyril to get information out of him. When that didn't work, they moved to threatening to, and I forget, I, I stopped uh, the recap at this point, <laughs> writing it up, because I forgot what <laughs> you guys threatened to do. Was it to cut off fingers? I can't. Uh, he for sure threatened to cut off fingers. Okay, I was remembering that right. Yeah. Right on. Let me type that in there real quick. Threatening to chop fingies. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, from there, uh, your interrogation wound up being interrupted uh, by... Something at the front door. Immediately, uh, one of the other apprentices at the Sky Twin Basilica, Igneo, came to the door and asked for all of you to follow him immediately to the underground. Uh, so as to be safe from whatever it was that was coming through the door. Uh, Spark stalled as much as he possibly could, and just as... The statue closed overhead of the secret passage. You all made your way down and stayed quiet as you heard footsteps above you. Heavy, almost metallic footsteps. Uh, somebody in armor? No, it was too rhythmic. This must have been... And Dickie caught, uh, you know, Dickie caught um, a glimpse of it as you... <laughs> you managed to do an incredible stealth roll, too. Um, to pull the wagon uh, all the way to the back <laughs> to the back room, and man, man, you you almost saved it. <laughs> if, if there had just been a way to get the wagon underground, um, God damn it! But alas, you did bring it to the back room. Tried to hide it the best you could, but this uh, warforged, as you saw, entered, looked around, and found. The Dicky Mobile. Blasting it, it would seem, and crushing it to pieces. Um, <laughs> and thus we lost a valued member of the party. <laughs> and, um, the crowd favorite. Indeed, and, uh, and it was mourned. Um, going forward from there, though, uh, you guys exited uh, the underground. Uh, Tion left apparently, to go uh, meet his girlfriend. <laughs> and uh, the rest of you uh, came up with a game plan to start the next morning. As everyone went to sleep, Dicky and Yagi said that they would go and commence a reconnaissance mission to see if they can gain any more information about the cold shoulder, possibly find a hideout or something. Uh, and you left out into the night at the stroke of midnight. And this is where we pick up. Uh, I'm going to move uh, you to the Ooh. Twining Town map uh, so, that you may, uh, so that you may go where you wish. Hold up. Mitch, um, I just want to tell you real quick that I take very detailed notes. And I have all the NPCs' names and a description, but the only thing I have for Tion is Tion Afterglow. Description, I'm walking here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I, I just really needed to tell you that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Honest to goodness, that that night, um, 
I did not expect Dion to be that big of a hit. <laughs> but, so um, come on, yeah, am, yeah, right. But I'm so pleased that, uh, <laughs> yeah, that he, um, yeah, that he was so well received. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, thank you, thank you for coming up with him. Do you want to know the best part? I usually I don't like reveal part. this kind of stuff, but I I decided on that accent. Um. In in game, <laughs> yeah, it's like in I, the moment. In the moment, because I, <laughs> I was like, "Wait a second, this guy's name is Tion. It's Tion. Yes. It's Tion, yes. baby. Come on." It was like Yoglin and Violet and Tion Afterglow. Hey, <laughs> Tion, like, yes. come on. You know me, I'm Tion. Um, Immediately, my favorite. <laughs> Oh man. Well, good stuff. Um, I leave it to you to move in the night through Amazing. the streets of Twining Town. Um, and this on, is y- some, Yagi, right? Let me get some nighttime uh, ambiance. Yeah, this is uh, Kichiro Yagi. Oh, um, hell yeah. Look, one of the, I didn't know, a monkey guy. Heck yeah. One of the trainers um, of you know this regime that the Sky Twin Basilica is trying to uh, trying to train and you know, get ready to storm uh, Fantastic. the cold shoulder. Fuck yeah. Where's my... Ah, here we go. Get a little nighttime ambiance. Mm-hmm. And you see all is quiet throughout the streets. There are lights um, that are on, you know, in a couple of streets. You know, street posts here and there, uh, but all of the houses, there is no light coming from any of them. Mm-hmm. Everything is quiet. There's not a, you know, there's not a chipmunk <laughs> crawling <laughs> down the streets or nothing. Um, it is silent. Um, I'll kind of like lean in to Yagi as we emerge into the streets and I'll say, now, yeah, is there like a patrol, or is it like, or is there like guards watching, or is it just like, oh, you know, we could just walk around, no one's around here. Shh. Quiet. Oh, sorry. There is a guard not far from here. Look that way. Oh, yeah, you're right. There are guards posted throughout the city. However... I do not think they patrol through the streets. We just will need to be careful and cautious when we approach. Do you know where they're posted? I do. All right, well, you know, that's a... That's definitely a leg up. Uh, All right, now, I think that we should come up with a plan B in case uh, there's a guard posted where you're not familiar with i say that uh one of us kind of like stays out in the open as like a distraction and the other one will try and hide as soon as possible and then go around and then knock the guy out while the other one's distracting him i like this plan however it puts one of us in danger that is very true now i would <laughs> Now, I know how it's going to sound, but um, I'm extremely sneaky. So, I think that it might be advantageous if I was the one to try and hide and circle around. Now, that does put you in danger. However, if... I don't know. Like, I I, I will do anything that I can to, to obviously help you out. It's not like I'm going to leave or anything. And you... You are the sneakier of the two of us. I think I know, you have I don't know. stricken mm-hmm. others in a sneaky fashion, right? And dealt oodles of damage. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I, I, some would say I will be the distraction. Ton of damage. All right, Hell all right. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. You know what, Yagi? We're on the same mental page, and I, I enjoy that immensely. All right. I like this plan. And if things do go awry... I can handle myself in a fight, if need be. All right. Well, you know, I, I'm not comfortable leaving you, so I'm 
I'm gonna show up and and hey, fuck him hey, up. Look at me. If it comes to that, him. then let me be taken. I put my hands on his shoulders. That's a good man. Of course. <sighs> all right, all right, and I'll like bastards down. <laughs> I'll do that like bro thing where I just like pat his the back of his shoulder like really hard. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready to do this? Ready. All right, let's stick to the shadows. And uh, I mean. Uh, what I'm wearing is a little bit darker in color, so I, I think that I'd blend in with shadows pretty good. Uh, you got like a cloak or something on you? Is he wearing like a dark cloak or some shit? Uh, he has, yes, put on. Usually he wears this orange, these orange robes, but he has um, changed out into a darker set of robes. Amazing. Okay, great. Um, cool. So... I suppose that we will do the best that we can to sneak around. Now, we're going... That's Town Hall, right? That's not where we're going? What's up? Uh, on the map, this is like Town Hall, right? That is That's the not Town where Hall. we're going? It's, well, hey, you are free to go wherever you like on the map. Yeah. Where we were going to check out the Cold Shoulders, like... Were we... Okay, wait. <laughs> Sorry if this is like metagamey. Yeah, uh, we're going to the whole shoulder, cold shoulder, like hideout headquarters because we think that Celeste Sunity is being held there. Correct. Um. Yes. Okay, that is. Cool. I think the ultimate goal is to uh, check on the uh, cold shoulder hideout. Right, we it, it's just like recon mission. See how many guards they have, entrances, exits, what we're up against before we do something stupid and storm in there. Indeed, and um, fantastic. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you may ask Yagi before setting out. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely ask Yagi where the headquarters is. Ah, uh, well, there are two entrances that we know of. There is one behind Town Hall, and there is one inside of Town Hall. We've never seen the inside of Town Hall, but we assume, we believe there is an entrance in there. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, all right. I think a good plan is to go around, check out Town Hall itself, like the outside of Town Hall itself. Okay. Check out the entrance on the outside. If we can get close enough, I'm sure they have someone posted. And if we can, if everything goes well, to kind of like take a good old peek inside town hall. I'm not saying step a foot inside of it, but maybe if we can get up to a window and get a good look inside. I mean, it's not like there's, there ain't going to be not a lot of people in there. I'm sure they... It looks like every, everyone has kind of a tight curfew. We'll, we'll see when we get there. You know what? <laughs> we'll wing it. Hey. That's as good as we can do. No, all right. Okay, so. Uh, let's um, make a general stealth check for the okay. two, uh, two of us. For, for the two Ooh. of us. Nice. Damn. Yeah. Oh, fuck oh, me. Wait, wait. No. I'm a halfling. I'm a halfling. I can reroll once. Nice. Okay. Good call. <sighs> oh, yeah, baby. That's, that's better. <laughs> I right. like, I am about to take a step, and then I realize that my shoe's untied, and I'm stepping on one of the laces, a la SpongeBob. <laughs> no. So I stop myself, and then I tie my shoe. It goes to slow motion for a second, <laughs> and it looks yeah. like Dicky is about to fall face first in the snow before he almost just like rewinds himself <laughs> and like <laughs> steps backwards and goes, oh, no, no, not today. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you could get me, sneaky little sucker. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, yeah, much better. This, the 21 is much better. <laughs> right. um, cool. This way. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> yep. Um, I guess 
it, it looks like there's one bridge. Oh, he just hopped over. All right. I will need you to make an uh, a dexterity uh, acrobatics check. Okay. To jump across, but you can do it at advantage. Oh, okay. Yagi is going to help you. Oh, Ooh. nat twenty, baby. Oh yeah, you like um, yeah. Yagi goes to jump over, but stops and like puts his hands out. Uh, and you take you put one foot in uh in his hands, and he la- utterly launches you. <laughs> Um, oh, and you hell think, yeah. You think for a second you almost do like the, the flapping bird motion in midair, um, but then you <laughs> stop, focus as you soar through the sky, do a double front flip and land with nothing but a, a slight skitter in the snow. Um, Fuck yeah. Yagi follows suit and goes, that was fucking sick. Nicely God. done. <laughs> that was fucking sick. Hey, hey. Are you feeling like what I'm feeling here, like a, like a, f- bro, sh- like a bro ship, or a bromance of some kind? Yeah, I am feeling that. Like a feeling. connection between platonic men. Hell yeah! And he gives you a high yeah. five. High five back. But yeah, it's like but it's a like really the, soft the high thing. five. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, it like ends you know, in that like make... hold thing, well, and like we're just like grabbing each other, grabbing each other's hands, staring, yeah. staring longingly into each other's eyes, <laughs> <laughs> longingly <laughs> and masculinely, okay, <laughs> stoically, <laughs> stoically, yes, absolutely. Um, I was gonna say just like it's like a like the softest high five possible because mm-hmm. you guys are both still in super stealth mode, or like you do. You both do like a solid high five, but somehow it doesn't it doesn't make yes. any sound. <laughs> yeah. Like there's no reason why it shouldn't have made like a <laughs> like wicked strong clap echo oh, throughout man. the town, but it just doesn't. It it's silent. My, <laughs> my hands are so like soft and non calloused with non hard work that it just pads <laughs> the sound, absorbs any sound. <laughs> <laughs> um Yagi stops here and like looks around the corner and goes, Clear. Alright. Wait, stop. Come. Behind me. Um, and you hear uh the front door of the hall. Um the uh the door click open. And this guy steps forward. Stands there, looks left and right. And then crosses his arms and stands in front of the door, kind of leans against it a bit. Okay. What does the building itself look like? Uh, the building itself, this is fairly good and representative of what it is. Uh, there is a a window here, and also windows along the back. Uh, there is... Oh, I guess this is not a window. <laughs> that wouldn't be representative, but there are mm-hmm. high windows uh, surrounding it. Um, the doors uh, are in the front. There's two uh, kind of pretty large doors, similar to the ones over at the Sky Twin Basilica. Um, but the uh, the color palette here is... Uh, purples and gold. Okay, purple and gold. And you cool. see there is light coming through the windows. Okay, lights are the only spin. building, it seems, in the whole place. Um, now, so this looks like a two-story building, is that correct? Um, could be. Not, sh- could not be. certain. Or, or it could just be really high ceilings. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Um, there are no guards, like, on the roof or anything? Uh, no, you do not see any guards up on the roof. Sick. Um, I turn to Yagi and I whisper really lightly, like, Now, are these rotating guards, or do they just stay on the post, do you know? I've come here a number of times before. They normally don't rotate. They stay put. 
guards, if you will. Now, do they switch? Do they do they switch out guards regularly, or is it like just the set of guards for the whole night? I think they switch after four hours. Seems as though this one just stepped out to take his watch. All right. So they uh, they switch once a night, is what I'm hearing, right? Yes. Is it usually at this particular time? Uh, yes. Awesome. All right. Uh, all right. You know, I say that we um, let's skirt around the cliff side. Uh, and see if we can see anything there. Uh, looking for an entrance. I don't know if you know exactly where it is, but I'd like to kind of scope it out. My guess is we could try the roof or a window. Perhaps something along those lines. I'm not certain. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and try a window, because I don't really... I don't really see what being on the roof will do, except maybe give us a vantage point from around the city. Maybe we could do that later. See, he turns around and pokes his head uh, around the corner and says, There's a guard over by the entrance. Cool. So that entrance on the map looks like it's on like a cl- on the cliff side, not like on the level of the town. Is that right? Yes, that is. Okay. Is there like a clear way? Are there like stairs down to that little ledge? Anywhere I can see? It doesn't appear that way. Okay. It seems like. Uh, you'd have to hop down. Um, how far is that uh, a jump? It is not terribly far. Like right here, it's about a five foot drop. Okay. Right here, it's about like a two foot drop. Um, gotcha. Um, does the uh, Yagi does the guard uh? It's follow the same schedule as the town hall guard that's guarding that entrance. Wait, wait. Take a look. And roll Take me a look. perception check as you peek around the corner. Okay. Whoa, 20. 20. You see this, uh, this guy the photo there doesn't represent how he is in this moment. He is um, slumped, kind of hanging on his uh, spear, uh, leaning against uh, the wall. And you hear a subtle... Does he usually see, do that? See a smidge of drool going down, uh, <laughs> down the side of his uh, lip. Ah, uh, no. He's usually rather vigilant. Something must have made him tired. Interesting. <sighs> Shit. Well, I mean, I'd love to knock that sucker right off the cliff, but that'll just make our job harder tomorrow. Mm. If we could do that stealthily, that would be nice. However, we'd be pushing him into Lake Snip. It's a fair drop, though. Perhaps the splash wouldn't make a big enough noise. Maybe, but, I mean, wouldn't they notice one of their guys was like, 
And then in the morning when it, when we come back or tomorrow or wherever, I don't know when we're playing this heist or whatever. I mean, they would know that one of their guys was gone. So they would, what, double up on security, make our job harder in the future? Right, they could. Now, we could go down there and take a peek inside, but I don't know if we want to risk that. Hmm. Perhaps. Wait. Dickie, uh, roll me one more perception check. Seven. A seven. Uh, you're unsure of what Yagi thinks he hears, but he says, he stops and he, he listens for a solid moment. He goes, I hear talking from inside. He leans up against the wall, puts an ear to it. Here, here. Let me hoist you up. All right. Cool. I jump up and try and grab onto that ledge of that little window right there. And you see he um he gets you in like a like that cheerleader um mm -hmm. pose where like <laughs> just launches you up, holds uh holds your feet and kinda pushes you up until you can reach. Um and you hang from the window. Roll me a stealth check. Ten. Ten. Um Okay. You see into Twining Town Hall. This scene here. And this is where your window is. Yeah. You see these figures. Um. Hang on. One sec. Get some music going. Cool. Are these like rooms? So I would only see this one room, right? Yeah. You only see this room. Okay. Uh, ooh, sorry. Let me toss these on the GM layer. Um, yeah, sorry. You didn't see those folks. Okay. Um, but yes, you see this character. He's. Uh, smoking his cigarette. He's got his feet kicked up on the table. Um, he's wearing a fine, fine suit with an ascot and uh, a little shawl draped over his shoulders. Um, and despite there being uh, light, you know, in each corner of the room, his shadow is very clear and stark against uh, the floor. Uh, across from him is a half-elf with long draping hair and a uh, well-trimmed beard. He's got, um, you know, purples and golds on, kind of fitting the room style. Um, and he sits uh, with his fingers laced, um, looking intently at the other character. And they proceed with what they were talking about. Well... Elamir. Who said well, Elamir? The half-elf or the cigarette man? The the human, yeah. Smoking the, okay. the cigarette. Um, he says, Ah, well, enough with uh, the pleasantries then. Yes, uh, I've brought you something. You have? Yes, of course, of course I have. Here, here. Uh, bring them in, would you? And he motions to uh, this character over here, um, who says nothing but opens the door, revealing uh, four women who walk out in a line. And line up against this wall. Does one of them look like she could be called Celeste Sunny D? <laughs> make me a um 
Make me a perception check. Oh, goodness. Ten. Ten. Uh, it's uncertain. Um, you imagine that any one of them could be called Celeste Sunny D? <laughs> oh, for sure. Y'all um, look like Celeste to me. <laughs> um, however, they do continue. And he goes, I have brought you a number of women to choose from as a gift. Um, and Elamir says, oh, um, well, I am not one to refuse such a generous offering. But shall I pick come the end of our business? Ah, an indecisive man is no good. Come on, come on, choose, choose, then we can move on. All right, I will. He walks over and inspects each of them, uh, freely groping and, and touching them, um, you know, kind of sizing each of them up. He grabs one uh, by the chin and uh, lifts, lifts up the chin and then takes a step back and says, Hmm. Hmm. I will have this one. Come, dear. Sit by me. And you see, um, this one here, uh, spits on the ground, sits, crosses her arms, um, and says, No. Excuse me. You heard me. No. What is the meaning of this, Finnegan? Aha. Uh -huh. It's nothing, I assure you. She's just new. Isn't that right, Starla? <laughs> is that my ex-wife? I mean, my wife? <laughs> it was hard to tell. Um, the perception check was pretty low, but it's at this point that it clicks. Uh, you didn't recognize her in the rags that she's wearing now um but as finnegan walks up raises a hand slaps her across the face you realize this man is laying hands on a woman that used to be yours <laughs> um and he goes you're just new um you see this one looks over and says, Starla, just come on. Go. For both our sake and yours, please. Ah. Eliza's correct, of course. She's a smart one. Now rise, rise. Come now. I've got a performance to put on. So get your face ready. Smile and take a seat with Elamir. And you see she reluctantly stands, still keeping her head high, and walks over and sits by him. A chair away. Elamir scoots over one and says, ah, Fine, I like my women a little bit belligerent. Every now and then. <laughs> um, make a make roll me another stealth check real quick. Yeah. See how or actually, hang on. Okay, stealth and then a charisma saving throw. Okay. Seven. Ooh, roll stealth one more time. It's at disadvantage. Yeah. Ten. A ten. All right. All right. <sighs> A close call. Um, you see, uh, as you go, <laughs> um, uh, this figure uh, moves over to here, and you hear, um, you hear as he's walking, uh, the steps sound familiar. It is rhythmic. 
And he turns, and you hear something engage. Like a... Oh, man. Uh, okay, let go. Okay, you drop down? Yeah. Uh, make a stealth check. 23, nice. baby! You see, um, you see this figure, uh, appear at the window. Uh, it's a tall window, so he steps into it. Uh, presses a hand up to the glass. And the mask looks left and right. Moves away from the glass and hovers back down. Out of sight. And you hear very muffled, um, Finnegan say, Uh, excuse me, Beguile, you're not to move without instruction, yes? And Beguile responds, Yes, however, I thought I had heard something outside. My apologies, Master. Deepest apologies. Oh, it's fine, Beguile. Don't worry yourself. You're just looking out for us, after all. Isn't that right? However, it's at this point that you have dropped down entirely. Uh, caught by Yagi and set down to the side. Yagi says, What? What's happened? I'm crying. <laughs> oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> they got... They got my wife in there. Oh, they got my wife in there. They have your... Oh. They got my wife. Oh, my ex. My ex-wife. Okay. I mean, we're not divorced, okay. but... <laughs> they like sold her or some shit. I don't know. She was with a bunch of other women. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And, and he like, he slaps you a couple times. <laughs> Pull yourself together. There may be more right. that we can glean. You're we, right. We went unnoticed so far. How do you need to get back up there? That slap reminded me of Starla. Ah. She, she used to slap me like that. I see. Okay. God, I loved it so much. Are, are you going to be all right? No, but you know what? God damn it. <sighs> Now I've got more resolve than ever. Good. Use it. Let it fuel you. All right, let's fucking do this shit. Yep. Yeah, uh, hoist you back up. All right. And ba -ba -ba. you see back in through the window. Um. Let's see. Uh, you see, Finnegan was in the middle of uh, a sentence. It goes, uh, So, what are you willing to pay? Um, and Elamir says, Let's see. What can he do? Well... He's quite the enchanter, if you will. Um, he has magical capabilities. Capabilities that I imagine your dear Cyril wouldn't. I see. Alright. I'll pay... Well, how much do you want for him? Oh, I think 3,000 platinum would do. That's at least the worth of a life, right? A talented one at that. 3,000 platinum. Okay. How about 2,500? Mm. He takes a long drag from his cigarette. You've got yourself a deal. Now... Tell me, hatchlings, how many will be shipped out this week? 
There are only five available at the moment. We're working on hatching more. But five is our maximum. And we can't get rid of all of them at once, you understand? Oh, right, right. They're adorable little buggers, though. I would like them all, but I will take what I can get. Let's see. Okay, is uh, the product in the factory for sale yet, Elamir? Do you mean Daydrop and Dye Dust? No, 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 no. <laughs> Although those are rare elements, I do not want those. It's not the business that I chose to be in. I am wishing for what is made in the factory. Not at the alchemy tables. You see, Elamir strokes his beard and says... No, they are not for sale yet. These are no ordinary Warforged. They're a new breed with uh, meticulous designs. Ones that have been worked on for months. You understand that when they do become available, the price will be immense. And he smiles real wide. Ah, uh, I would expect nothing less. And I assume you'll get me the best one, eh? Yes, we will. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. So, we have an accord. 3,000 platinum. For Illy. And no charge. For dear Starla, especially not with how she's been behaving. Right, and thank you. However, you mentioned the other girl as well, Farah. You wish to have a night with the both of them? No, it is simply that I would like to purchase her. You would like to... Oh... Oh... She's, uh, she's one of my best. She brings in a lot of business. Are you sure? I mean, you could have one of the other ones. Eliza? Hmm? No. We need Pharaoh. We? This isn't just for you, then? No? No, not for just me. We need her for... Well... Nothing that you need to know. Okay, okay. I don't need to pry. Let's see. Alright, um... I don't value her quite as much as... Illy. But I still value her quite a lot. Let's cut the price in half, shall we? 1,500 platinum. Done. <clears throat> Hello. Please retrieve the platinum for Finnegan. Right away, sir. Or be just a moment. You see, he does return with a, a great satchel. Or sorry, not a satchel, a chest. A silver chest that clicks open within a mighty array of platinum stacked within it. You see Finnegan looks it over. Takes out his cigarette, blows out the smoke, picks up a coin and... <coughs> bites down on it. <laughs> I word, how do you do it? How do you make this much? Well, let's just say I made the right friends. 
<laughs> Isn't that how it always is? Well, I suppose it's been something, Elamir. Remember to call, yes? Girls, beguile, we're leaving. You see, he stops here and whispers something in his ear. And then they continue out the Do door. Do I... Did I catch any of that whisper? Can I see? Uh, you can roll me a perception check. Okay. 18. You also see he gives, um, he gives the character here uh, a smooch on the mask. Um... Just like full on where the mouth would be, but <laughs> obviously the mask is there. And he says, I will miss you. You be good, okay? Serve him well. And you see uh, the character just takes a step back, bows, um, and says, I will, sir. Good, good. And don't forget to visit. And don't die. All right. I'm gone. Farewell. Arrivederci. All that. Ta ta! <laughs> um, an 18. With an 18, you did uh, hear that. Uh, sorry, and these two would follow suit along with him. Um, you heard him say, Why don't you just keep her? She's more of a nuisance than anything to me at this point. On the house. And you saw he just shrugged and said, Illy, come here. Yes, sir, Elamir, sir. Ah, oh, rather formal. I think I like you better than Cyril already. All right. Your first task. I would like you to stand guard outside of this establishment. Make sure that I am safe. Don't want what happened to Cyril to happen to me. Also, perhaps check on the, well, the ones we sent to the Basilica. Right away, Elamir, sir. It will be as you wish. You see, um... Illy... Hang on. Illy seems to, um... Illy seems to just stand there. Motionless. But you hear the door. Just barely. Open and close. And the other door as well. The door... Like the front door? This door, and then again at the front. Okay, but they seem to just be standing there. Mm hmm Yep. Okay. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna, like, look down... Um, at my my man Yagi. Let's and I'm say just the gonna... last thing you hear is mm -hmm. him say, him say to uh, uh, Alo, um, would you take Farah down below? I've, well, you know. Right away, sir. Have fun. <laughs> uh, um, you see, he uh, starts dragging her behind. And uh, leads her into yeah an area that you can't see. And he exits with Starla. Shit. Um, he like goes further into the building. He doesn't leave the building with her. It would seem. Okay. Okay, I looked down at. I look down at Yagi, 
they've got someone going back to the to the basilica to check up on shit. Um, I feel like our friends might be in danger right now. They're in danger. What did you hear? Um, okay, I hop off off of him. They got someone to replace Cyril, and their first uh, mission was to go, quote, um, check on the ones we sent to the Basilica. That's all I heard. I don't know if that means, like, go and infiltrate the Basilica. It looks like they're, it's like, off to the bar, projecting. Gail. Let's celebrate, shall we? <laughs> Drinks are on me. <laughs> I low-key want to go and follow and kill that guy. <laughs> Would that be would that be completely out of the question? Cause like my brain is like, don't do it, but like I think I'm gonna go and do it. Sorry. Um. Um. Well, uh, I would not be one to keep someone from revenge. Also, However, also I think that they are doing experiments on people. The experiments, what do you mean? I don't know. I don't know. What? Uh, uh, Elamir just bought some ladies, including my wife. Oh, my God. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. And um, one of them, he was like, um, I, I want to buy this one. And that motherfucker, human guy was like, you want to buy them for personal use, wink, wink? And he was like, no, like for us, it seemed like for the organization. So that made me think like experimenting. I also, see. something also looks like they're buying Warforged, Warforged, uh, Warforges, like new and upgraded Warforges. The Warforged. Uh, yeah. Uh, I thought. I. I thought they were only on the main continent. Seems or like further they, further seems towards like the they center. Are, yeah, it seems like they're making new ones. Uh they're not ready yet, but Right, more once, of the same. There's there's more than just the one that we that we well, that that came to the basilica. That's unnerving. Everything about this is unnerving. Um, seems like there's something about hat hatchlings, so I don't know if that's the same thing as the Warforged. Depends on how they're made, I suppose. I guess. I wouldn't I, know. I'm ready to rumble right now. Like, Oh man, I I feel like I'm I, I want to grab my crew and head over here right now. All right. Um. Well, uh, again, you said something about them sending people to the basilica. There's someone like astral projecting or some shit to the basilica right now as we speak. Actually, we should head over there right now. Oh. And I start like moving, like oh. heading back. All right. Um, you see, he jumps like up to the roof and everything. Like slides cool. down and I starts will... starts booking it. <laughs> okay, I'm just like running on the ground, like weaving in between shadows and shit. I will make you make a check for this one again. He he helps you over just as oh, you yeah. did before. Is it just as cool? Oh oh, dude, it's even oh, cooler, dude, bro. Oh <laughs> shit, dude. All right, all this right. This time my guy. you managed to do not front flips, but like a front full. So you were doing like oh, 360s fuck. as you flipped around. It was crazy. Oh shit. All right. Um, and he goes, you know, he motions a finger over his lips and moves uh around this way. Yeah. <clears throat> Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Yagi forgets the password. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five? Ah, here we go. He, uh, he leans in and goes, Ah, oh, come on. Ah. So am Ulkayem. And, uh, 
the mortar and brick that is at the base of the building starts to shift and move as it transforms into a staircase. He heads below. Cool, I follow. Good deal. Uh, You appear in the underground. Over on this side. Um, Yagi immediately walks in. Uh, you see, she's just kind of on the floor, passed out. (laughs) Um, like completely sprawled, like arms and legs wide. Um, uh, this guy is up in the rafters. Uh, but you see him kind of laying on his side, snoring. And you see, uh, the one that you met earlier, Igneo, is still awake and immediately sits up from where he was watching Cyril and goes, oh, you guys return. That's right, motherfucker. We got a ghost infiltrating here. You have a, a ghost? A, or something. What now? Right. Um, I didn't hear it myself, but there is something coming. There's something like an invisible something or other or whatever. Something magical happening. Bad, bad. Uh, and make a perception check. It's gonna do Four. the same. Ooh, 20. Oh, um, fuck yeah. Yeah, Yagi, you see he um, climbs up like a little bit. You see he jumps off the walls a bit, makes it up to the rafters, and like puts his ear up. Tilts his head to the side, and his eyes go wide, and he says, They're here. We need to go, now. And he rushes, go, swings swings over to the ladder, disappears. I'd like to run and wake up my friends right now. All right, nice. Um, he says, I'll stay here. Uh, <clears throat> Yoklin! L- Yoklin! Uh, well, uh. I don't know. I've had enough bacon. No. Uh, what? Huh? <clears throat> what? Oh, I'm awake. That, that took a on? long time for you to wake up, son. Hey, listen. I am... A I sleepy... I don't have time for this! I don't have time for this! <laughs> a sleepy <laughs> individual and a... Oh, I run okay. past as he's saying Well, that. all right. Uh, uh, yeah, t- I'll talk to you later. Uh... <laughs> Um, you see he is having trouble waking up, but like, he shakes his head as you disappear, um, kind of flutters down to the ground. Uh, you imagine they will follow suit soon, but you show up. Actually, sorry, you went up this side, uh, so you would show up here. Yagi over here. Did you mean to go to that one? No, I, I meant to go to the one that I, the one that I went down before. Oh, okay, cool. So well, yeah, over, that's, over this way. Yeah, that's completely fine. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys appear here. Sweet, I and literally where, just run immediately. Oh shit! This is where we will take a pause. Um, and oh, wait yeah. for uh, yeah, wait for the start of the campaign on Saturday. All right. Um, but yeah, do you need, uh, any kind of refresher on, like, the information that you got, uh... Um, let me tell you what I got. Um, at Town Hall, there's one entrance inside and an entrance out back to the Cold Shoulder Hideout. Um, there's just two large doors in front of Town Hall. There's a guard posted out front. Um, no guards on roofs. Guards don't move around, but they switch every four hours once a night around midnight. Um, do, do, do. Elamir is a half elf. Um, and he, there was Finnegan the human 
with a crisp shadow. Um, boop, boop, boop. He brought him four women to choose from as a gift. Elamir chose, oh, my wife, Starla. Um, Eliza was the other one. Uh, Beguile is the Warforged name. Okay. Um, 3,000 platinum for a quote unquote for a life. Um, I assume they were talking about Illy, the masked person who's replacing Cyril. Mm hmm. Um, cool. He asked him how many will be shipped out. Five hatchlings. We can't get rid of all of them. Wink, wink, or some shit. Um, what about the product from the factory? I'm not talking about dye drops or dye dust. They're talking about new and improved Warforged. Uh, the price will be high for them when they're done, and Elamir will get the best. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, let me see. Yeah, um, it seems as if the girls are not for sex. Uh, seems as if they're for other nefarious purposes. I assume experimentation or augmentation or brainwashing or something like that. Oh, yeah. Um, cool. Let me see. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, "Keep Illy on the house." I guess. Oh, so, keep keep Starla on the house. Keep Starla on the house. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. That was yeah. uh, that was the last thing that you heard from him. Is he leaned in, he lent in and said, mm -hmm. uh, "You can have her for free." Yeah. You know, whatever it is, and uh, you know, it, it was probably something like, "What like whatever it is that you have going on here, use her, please. You'd be doing me a favor." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, she's trouble or some shit. Yeah. Which like, hey, my girl. Um, mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and then Illy was told to check on the ones we sent to the Basilica and take Farah below, down below, I guess. Yes, Which, indeed. um, cool. So is it, is it Farah and Starla who were left there and the other women left? Yes. And, okay, okay. uh, and you heard them, uh, moving over towards, uh, what you assume would be somewhere to drink. Yeah, as, yeah. as Finnegan said, yeah, like, Ah, I've got, um, platinum to spare. <laughs> let's, let's drink till we're sick, shall we? And he, like, and he was laughing and, yeah, kind of, uh, bolsterously, uh, moving through the night with his, uh, with, yeah, the ones that remained with him. Wonderful. Okay. Yep, that's all I got. So if that's, if that's all the info... Then I think we're good. But if I've missed anything, let me know. Uh, let's say you caught one more thing as he whispered. He also said, Are you sure I can't bring the rest in here? It would liven up this dull place so much. Um, you heard him say, No. No, they will stay outside these gates. Do you hear me? That's for both of us. Unless you want them dead. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Ugh. Fine. Uh, and then he moved over to yeah, Illy. Cool. Gave him a smooch. <laughs> Do we have time? Oh, oh hey. yo, what's up? Oh, hey. We uh. Do we have D &D? No, we are doing um. Uh, so you know how Dicky went off on a reconnaissance mission. Ah, uh, getting that out of the way. Okay. Yes, yep. indeed. We are. Uh, oh yeah, we're taking care of that before the start of the. Uh, uh, campaign on Saturday, I uh, presume. Okay. okay, I just yeah, I, I, I was just going through like all my channels. I saw people in dads. So I was like, I thought we only use this for D and D. <laughs> oh yeah, right, oh have, we have do. <laughs> See you guys. Right on. Bye. Cool. All right, I guess that's it. I think so. All right. Um, yeah. Thanks for uh playing in my game. This um, you know, this one was a little bit. Just kind of info heavy, but that was the was the goal of the mission. So I wanted Hell to make yeah, sure that it. they wound up getting getting a couple of like hints and clues as to what was going on. And um, yeah, they got Starla. They got <laughs> Starla. Oh shit! I'm about to go crazy. I was, 
And I was curious to see if you would do anything. I'm I'm surprised, a little bit proud of you for like restraining yourself. <laughs> um, um, I think Dicky is old enough to know when there is an unwinnable situation in front of him and when it would just be better to go and get back up first. Mm, I was about to ask, like, what what was going through Dickie's mind when he sees uh, Starla just it was really slapped di- across the, fl- yeah, the face? Yeah, it was really difficult to not do anything. Very difficult. Um, but, yeah, like I said, um, Dicky plays smarter, not harder in every situation. So he's definitely going to run back and get his friends. And he's going to go right back. And you like, saw, he's not going to like, um, wait. Make me an insight check real quick. Yeah. A nine. Uh, roll that advantage. This is Starla. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, boy. It's, uh, it's Starla. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. I will... I will say, yeah, like, so I won't give you, a, uh, I won't give you everything ab- about her situation, but I will say with a nine, you, you knew Starla. She was this, uh, defiant and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, powerful, uh, you know, woman that, um, mm-hmm. that took care of herself and, uh, you know, made sure that she got what she wanted, you know? Um, yeah. You imagine that getting what she wanted um, might have taken down, might have taken her down a bad path. You saw in her eyes like a uh, a look of deep anger aimed inwards. I know that look all too well. And and a look of uh, and uh, followed by a look of. Uh, yeah, just pure defiance, and um, she was looking around, trying to gauge her options. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, the primary thing that you noticed was anger aimed inwards. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I actually, and also, I feel like up. Starla also like low key, like she's not just gonna be a fucking damsel in distress like she can she can take care of herself to some extent so that's also a reason why i feel like dickie didn't do anything like immediately like she'll be okay for like the couple minutes it takes me to go wake up my friends okay i was uh i rolled a a perception check from starla on the off chance of a natural 20 but oh yeah she uh Nothing. she didn't notice you all right, well, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Indeed, you'll have a Damn. fair amount to fill in. Uh, yeah, fill, fill them in on. I will say uh, the session's going to start immediately with combat. Um, cool. And I would say that you wouldn't get to this point until you return fairly quickly. So I'll just say... Um, you will enter the fray here after two rounds. Okay. The two round delay. Sounds good. All right, good deal. Uh, yeah, th- again, thanks for playing in my game. Did you have any uh, final questions or thoughts? Uh, no. I'm just ready to go rescue my gal. Oh, yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> right on. Oh, call me Prince Charming. Go ahead and um, you know, rest up that hand, and uh, I'll be seeing you tomorrow for the session. Yeah. I'll be seeing you tomorrow for when I kill all your bad guys. I hope you're ready. Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm not pulling <laughs> any punches, Mitch. You better not. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Much love, Teresa. Later. Bye. All right. Uh, let's get a. Hey, what's up, dude? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, in the chat, I appreciate. I appreciate you being on call. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you uh yeah are, i gotta ask are you still alive after <laughs> after the um, week 